they beat us in every year. It's hard to hard to come up with an opening statement after a beat down like that. It's been a while. Doesn't feel good. Um, you know, I told the team, you know, that the, the good news is, is it counts as, as one game. You know, and we have to respond and bounce back. And I'll, I'll put this one on me. You know, and uh, we didn't, we weren't prepared in any area. Uh, we didn't play very good in, in, in any area. And uh, they beat us from the start to the finish. So pretty uh, complete game by them. Um, and uh, we weren't, we weren't up for the challenge. In, we didn't coach very good and didn't play very good. Mark, they clearly respected you guys' run defense. Those first two drives, all they were doing was passing. Was, was it just separation, or did, was your secondary not ready tonight? No, I think um, we had a pretty good, pretty, pretty good understanding that they were going to attack us, you know, down the field. We, we, we know that. I mean, they're. They're putting things together, you know, and playing at home. I, I think I mentioned it in my press conference to you or in one of the sessions that uh, we anticipated that. You know, they're they're a little different at home than they, than they are on the road. And uh, I think, um, you know, they come out and hit us in, in, with some shots and some uh, some areas that, that uh, we got exposed. What you said Tuesday, you didn't think that practice was up to par play against the whole team. Is that particularly concerning that it seems I mean you talk so much about the week is just as important on Saturdays that it seemed like a yeah I, yeah it was it was concerning to me at the time you know and uh, I didn't I didn't feel good about it um, I do think we responded and had a better week but uh, you can't waste any days and any opportunities and you know, you know can't do it Mark so, there was some there was some penalties early on in that first half there that were so, after after the after the play, just talk about that discipline there with some of those after the play penalties. Yeah, or lack of yeah, lack, lack of discipline. Um, you know, just you know, I just didn't have them ready for that moment. You know, the moment was too big for some. You know, we didn't play very good. We didn't play very disciplined. We didn't play, you know, very tough. You know, we we didn't we didn't get it done. You know, and so. You know, it's not Coach B, you know, but, uh, you know, I got to, you know, we we as a staff and, and I have to do a better job of getting them ready and getting them prepared. That's a very good football team that, uh, you know, that I know some guys on their staff and, uh, you know, they're they're putting it together and they played a, they played a complete game. There's a couple of those passes that Devin had just, I don't know what's happening. Is everything is he okay? Is there any explanation to it? I mean, I, I, yeah, I believe he's okay. You know, that, that I, I would have no reason to believe he's not. Um, yeah, I was a little disappointed myself. You know, and usually I don't say a whole lot during a game to a quarterback to not get him off. You know, but there, there's no excuse to not hit some of those passes. I mean, we get some guys wide open. So you just put that, you know, whether we miss, you know, some – some open plays to keep it close early, and then you add in the penalties. I mean, it gets away from you very quickly uh, when when you're not playing good, and then you do some some stupid things as well. You know, you put that in, in their place, and the number one team in the country, and it's going to get away from you fast. And it did. You had some guys uh, exit early with injury. You had you know, Jalen, maybe Trevor. We had some guys that were flip, you know hurt going into the game, and uh, you know some guys that were. You know, hurt. You know, throughout the game. I mean, it's you know we're going into what game you know, seven next week. You know, so it gets tough. Last last year you had kind of a similar game uh, at Tennessee and went two and two down the stretch. So how, how do you kind of catch your breath before the bye week? Well, we 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 have to you know respond this week, and I just addressed that with the team. I addressed it with them early in the season. I actually talked about it in, in our first meeting of the year. That, that I didn't think I did a very good job of having the team handle adversity. And I knew it, it's going to come. Right? It, that doesn't mean I believe we were going to lose a game, but you know, even in a game, you're going to go through some adversity, some tough times, interceptions, ton, you know, um, momentum swings, and just you're going to hit it. And you have to respond the right way. And I, I will not tolerate us not responding. We're going we're gonna to respond. You know, I, I have great respect for Missouri. We, we always have good games. And, uh, you know, we, we have to get back. You know, we, this one is, uh, 
you know, it, it counts as one loss. And it's the only good thing about it, you know, this, this beat down. You know, it's, it's, it only counts as one. Uh, but we have to respond and, and get back to work and get back to being us. Mark, I know hindsight's always twenty twenty, but I guess, do, do you regret maybe not taking the, you know, the kickoff now in terms of maybe being able to get Georgia's crowd out of it from well, the beginning I mean, of the school? Yeah, if, I would, if I could know it was going to start like that, yeah, I, I would. You know, at least maybe I could run some clock off there and get a first down or two. I don't know if it gets field position, but, you know, we just didn't start very good. They've started very quick. They, they've kicked our butt from the beginning to the end. You know, in hindsight, I guess it really don't matter. You uh, mentioned, sorry, you mentioned more than once that they're putting some things together. What do you mean by that? Oh, it, it, you know, again, I mean, I'm just speaking for us, but coaching football for a long time, I mean, a team's not going to play their best for 12, 12 games. You know, or 13, if they're in the championship game, they're not going to play their best each and every week. And uh, sometimes you put it together and sometimes you don't. They played very good, you know, tonight. It's the only thing I can speak of. You know, what, what I've seen on tape and how they played tonight, they, they kicked our butt. Mark, you've said in the past here that it's important to not let one turn into two. Yeah. I, with where you're at in this season and a lot of you know rivals coming up, a lot of important games coming up, how important is it to, to get the guys this week to understand the magnitude of not letting one turn to two? They understand that. I mean, they, 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 they know already. I've already talked to them about it, Dan. That, you know, it's, we can't let it happen, period. Mark, the tackling has been a strength really all year, and then tonight there were some misses. What did you see on some of those? I saw a lot of missed tackles. I saw them uh, making us miss, and then I saw also us uh, uncharacteristically undisciplined with dirty eyes. And then I also compliment them with the way they were creating some some plays that we all look at and say, how in the world does a guy like that get so open? Well, some of it they're creating, and they did a nice job, and they got us you know, with that, that vision. And even on some of the big ones where you see 19 round down field wide open, you're like, how in the world are you going to leave that guy open? Well, they dressed it up and uh, they pushed us. Good job. Mark, I know it's just one loss, but the, the first place in the SEC East, you know, kind of the team that you want Keep on, creep on, keep on grinding. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to give you a headline. I mean, we're going to keep on working. It's a game. You know, it's one game that we weren't prepared for, and they beat our. But you ask me one more time, and I'm going to say ass. You know? <laughs> Last question. Or if you had some success, or if you had some success running the ball early in the game, did you just have to get away from that because of the score, or, or do you wish you had? Stuff yeah. Available? I mean, it's a really, you know, it's really disappointing because. We couldn't stop them, you know, we didn't stop them. And when we did, we got a silly penalty. And then we're moving the ball and we get penalties that stop ourselves. I mean, the game really, you know, again, don't make me say it again, they beat us from top to bottom the entire game. However, yeah, that's very unfortunate and that's not very smart or good by us to get penalties and stop ourselves when we're driving the ball and able to keep things on schedule. You know, the penalties killed two drives and then a, a missed throw killed another drive. You know, you just can't come down here and do that. Especially, you know, we have to play as a complete team. And, and when defensively we're having our problems, stopping them clearly, you know, and, and give them credit for that. But at least you could stay on schedule if we, you know, don't do silly things that, that we don't normally do. You know, it was very undisciplined. It wasn't very smart. And it's not very good. And I'm not very proud of it.